What up, friendos? Welcome back. We're talking today. You never would have guessed. We're back here again. The day before, only this time it's not something Fantastic's doing, which is fantastic in and of itself. A real big surprise. They've not clapped back yet with any stupid uh, Twitter announcements saying that, you know, this happened and that happened, which is all provably false. Um, we're going with, there's a tweet here, which I reacted to at the time. The day before developer Fantastic relaunched the game at a lower price to scam gamers again. This didn't happen, but it was a, a, a bit confusing at the time. Uh, it's fake. So what somebody did basically was go into their game that they already uh, they already released because Steam's a, a utter mess, and they just cloned the day before's page, and then it looked like the day before was back on Steam. They, as you can see, developer fantastic, my tone of fantastic the day before, uh, and just basically changed all the tags and everything to make it look like this was really the day before. Uh, and then people were buying the game, downloading the game, installing it, and it was a fucking cat game. So epic troll, I guess. But it all runs a little bit deeper than that. This is, as with anything the day before related, even if Fantastic are not involved, it's a convoluted mess of lies and deception and, and just craziness. So if you didn't know, there's been a project behind the scenes called TDB Reborn, the day before Reborn. And it's a bunch of people trying to remake the day before. For what reason? I, I don't fucking rightly know. I, I don't understand why if you had the skills to make a video game, you wouldn't just make a video game that had nothing to do with the day before what this game was out for like a month and it wasn't good why are you trying to remake something that wasn't good and using the branding and images and name of something that has only negativity associated with it unless you think you know that's going to go well for you because if, if it ever did get popular even if you were to succeed and make a good game you would be sued or forced to change the name and branding anyway. So uh, official TDB Reborn mod team official statement. Now, if you're a mod project or a, a, a project recreating someone else's game and there's nobody being paid and there's not that many people who care, if you're embroiled in this much drama this early on, something's gone really wrong. Why do people care this much about some random remake of a shit game? If you find yourself in a situation where you're having to make official statements on things, Man, just give up and go home. Something's went wrong here. So, hello, we are informing everyone what happened in our dis last Discord group. We are presenting receipts and proof of mad core and only smart sometimes actions of stealing the whole thing from Samurai who started it all. We are hoping this sheds light. Please join our new Discord group here. And then there's a, there's a Twitter thread link, which is written... Uh, <laughs> let's go over it, I guess. Important news. Dispute and wreckage of old Discord and etc. Today we're presenting facts and evidence in multiple parts. The official TDB Reborn team is currently rebuilding due to unforeseeable circumstances. We hold this project in high regard and are fully committed to ensuring that all of our users have the best experience possible. We will be providing uh, evidence and receipts to prove the events beyond doubt. It is important to note that Samurai was the biggest supporter and creator who started the, the old Discord. This information is exclusively related to the drama between Only Smart Sometimes and Mad Core. So in December 2023, Samurai created a Discord server that quickly gained a large following. Many members joined from the beginning, and Samurai had giveaways and paid for various things like websites and Twitter verification. However, on January 26th, things went wrong. What could fucking go wrong? Only Smart sometimes took advantage of Samurai, Samurai when he was drunk. Is this, this is taking a weird turn. And claimed that he needed to be the owner to add certain features. Samurai trusted him. Mistake. But soon after that, Only Smart sometimes kicked him out of the server. Only Smart sometimes claimed that the entire team agreed on this decision, but it was not true. Screenshots of what happened. Uh, we can figure it all out tomorrow. Any chance I can get temp Discord server ownership so I can set up some GitHub bots that need to be linked directly to the server. They will post uh, commits and information where, whenever it's updated to help streamli streamline information. Basically saying, you know, I, I want to add this to the server, so I need permissions to do so. Um, Samurai responds, I don't know if you can see this because my camera might be in the way it is. He responds and says, I don't think giving ownership away is a good idea. It's not that I don't trust you. <laughs> oh boy, you shouldn't have trusted him. And also, don't ever be giving your Discord ownership over to random people, bro. What the fuck is wrong? 
Um, he says, it is just me. Uh, all good, figured it was worth an ask to try to make life a bit easier to reduce a little of the workload with giving updates. And then he responds to, you know, it's not that I don't trust you. And he says, I mean, it is a little bit though, lol. Inherently, that would be the reason for saying no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, in general, I'm a bit skeptical about sharing personal info. I can give you permission to do stuff, just full permission. Uh, did you do server settings, member search for the members, right click on the member transfer ownership. Let me see. Man. You fucking, you were led to water here and you drank because uh, there's no reason you need to do this with anyone. There's, there's almost nothing you can't do with like admin features that, uh, that you can do as, a, as an owner of a server. At least I, I don't think so. Uh, I see the server hooks now and members and have boss tag, but the server isn't selectable to link. So I don't think it actually did. I think you just gave me the admin tag. Done. <laughs> and then immediately... Uh, like, well, like 30 minutes later, did you kick me out? You could not de have this message delivered. You've been jacked. Ever since the storm, Madcore seemed to only care about reviving his once content creator career. He kept pushing the team to make progress for devlogs and was a bit controlling at times. It seemed he possibly coerced only smart sometimes to do this. Samurai trusted him, but he seemed to boss everyone around, including Samurai. Samurai tried taking his advice and suggestions, but Madcore should have called for a team meeting to address the issues instead of taking over the Discord. Problems should be solved internally, but luckily it did not hurt the project at all. Seem, seems like it has. They made several statements claiming that the entire team agreed on something, but in reality, it was not true. Team member uh, Jose Mad 890 uh, warned us that they were developing another game, yet they were lying to people by stating it would come out either late this year or next year. I mean, just continuing on Fantastic's legacy, right? Just lying, just doing all the shit behind the scenes. Initially, we were doubtful, but it turned out to be true. We are interested in reviving this game if we strongly believe that it can be fixed. Just make a different game, brother. Just make any other game. Our main focus is to get this project back on track and we are actively searching for more reverse engineers. We stand by this project and believe in it. Jose told us that he was at the movie theater when it happened and he did not agree to it. Many others in the team were surprised by this news. Part five and six, it never ends. Only smart sometimes and Jose Mad 890 were offered 200 bucks a month for their help on uh, the project. Despite the fact that it was not being sold, they made significant progress and Samurai, the project leader, wanted to offer them something in return. However, uh, Jose declined the offer, although some claim that Samurai was not helpful, this was not the case. Samurai was a kind and supportive person who believed in the project. Everyone appreciated his positive attitude and friendly demeanor. Unfortunately, Madcore and Only Smart sometimes caused problems that had a negative impact on the project. You just said it didn't impact the project. My name's right in this. They should be held accountable for their actions, and we hope they will stop destroying the project for no reason. We did not wish them harm, but they should be punished for their behavior. Attached images. So this is images. One guy uh, saying, no, I don't want the money. One guy saying, yes, I do want the money. Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid, it's unreal. Read this message, guys. Madcore took over, I see. Would you like to join us and leave them? When times come, I will hack the server and take what's mine. Why are you posting this publicly? Why? It just makes you look like a fucking 13-year-old. Um, yeah, I'm going to hack the server and, and take it back. Mate, come on. Don't be surprised because max in month the server will be mine again. I'm going to also do a lawsuit against only for fraud. When we set Discord up, I'll message you, brother. I appreciate honest talk. You are a very good person. Sad that we need to be between snakes. So I'm getting some conflicting information here. This official, super official response is saying... It was only these two people who did it. And then these responses that they've published is saying it wasn't those two. It was the entire mod and dev team. Like, as you can read here, it was literally the entire mod and dev team. Bro, you can't say entire team if Jose Gaming damned and two more didn't want me to go. I just literally got messages, you know what you did is kind of fraud. Uh, cool lad told me he's out of the project because of that. At the end of the day, I'm the guy who is right. <laughs> Fuck me, bro. You've just published this. Nobody's reading this in the first place. Uh, and nobody's looking good in this. You all look bad. You didn't listen to anyone, blocked or muted those who disagreed, sent numerous damaging messages despite being advised not to. You didn't play as part of the team. Because I still like you as a person, it wasn't personal. Uh, it was business. You alienated the entire team. That doesn't mean that I can't still make something uh, with you on my own personal time, separate from everything with our own unique idea. But as far as TDB Reborn goes, what's done is done, and I am sorry that it hurt your pride, but ultimately it was the best decision for the project and team. I know it was madcore manipulative, and then it ends here. So all in all, 
what the fuck are you guys doing wasting your life on this i mean it's interesting in a way but holy shit you could all just be making other games why are you, why are you doing this snaking each other over this utter nonsense this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. But now I guess you've got two The Day Before Reborn teams making The Day Before Reborn. You've got official TDB Reborn, and then you've got TDB Reborn. I've never seen people fight and compete over literally nothing. They might as well be kicking a fucking can around in the street, man, and, and fighting and arguing about it, you know, coming to blows over a can full of human feces. But either way, it is what it is. I just thought it was interesting that this is going on. So that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Buy gamer subs. You know, waifu cups. Buy them. They're, they're awesome. Buy the, the drink, you know, the powder. You put it in water, you shake it, you drink it. It's all good. Uh, replacement for coffee, uh, if you like caffeine. And if not, you can just buy the uncaffeinated version. On top of that, I just started a Magic the Gathering channel. Mostly just unboxing right now, but there will be other stuff on there. The link will be in the video description or on the channel somewhere. You'll find it. It'll, it'll be in a place. And if you want to watch Magic content do that. And if you don't, cool. Uh, either way, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.